Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Today we are talking about three wristwatches with hand-wound movements that offer an extensive power reserve that stretches beyond a week, eight days, uh, eight days plus even, eight days at near chronometric precision and accuracy, and even more. These are at three different price points, but I think they all offer really great value propositions. So let's get right to it. We're starting with the Gégé Le Coutre Reverso Grand Date. This is a piece which was in production from year 2002 to 2012. It basically has a modified version of the movement that JLC designs from scratch for the Septantième, the 70th anniversary model. And, you know, this might be an urban myth, but it is always said that the release of that 70th anniversary model, the reason that the release of that 70th anniversary model was delayed by a whole year was due to the complexity of this movement. The Septantium also has a, a day and night indicator a sun and moon um, indicator that is shown through an aperture right around here between one and two o'clock. So essentially the same. Functionally the same. This watch comes from an era uh, of Gégé Le Coutre, where all the dials uh, were decorated um, with rose engines turned by hand, which you can certainly see, especially in person, through that scallop design at the center of the dial. There's a coin-edged frame around the rectangular dial. Arabic numerals for the hour markers. Sort hands for the hour and minutes. And an alpha hand for the power reserve indicator. The seconds are shown in a small subsidiary dial off center. That dial is slightly sunken and it carries the branding, the signatures for Reverso and Gégé Le Coutre. The power reserve indicator is placed right around 11 o'clock. And as you can see, shows the eight day power reserve. And there is that doubled window for the grand date right at around seven o'clock. As a quick uh, point of trivia, even though the oversized date seems to be heavily associated with Alain Gonzune, and deservedly so, because they have a good uh, story around it, and even though some uh, ignorant people online keep repeating that the oversized date is a signature of German watchmaking because Lange uses it and Glashütte Original copied it from them. You should actually know that along with the gear trains of the first generations of Alain Gonzune movements, JLC also gifted to uh, their sister company at the time, under Les Manufactures Horlogères and under the leadership of Günther Blümlein, also a module 
for the oversized date display. It was an earlier version of the module used here on the grant date. This particular model is in stainless steel and is presented on a matching beads of rice style bracelet, which actually looks quite cool, even though my preference for the Reverso is almost always a leather strap. But there is always some added value in having a full bracelet, especially if you can imagine wearing it with the bracelet, at least occasionally. On the flip side, you have an exhibition case back, which I actually really love because the architecture of it, the design of it, the look of caliber 875 is in and of itself and a marvel of Art Deco design. I think the dual spring barrel movement is really beautifully executed and handsomely decorated with prominent Côte de Genève on the bridge plates, nicely sized rubies and heat blued screws that resonates nicely with the heat blued hands used on the primary dial side on the recto dial. This piece also happens to come as a full set, including the presentation box, outer packaging, the original warranty papers, and product literature. I have to also point out that as much as I appreciate the tip of the hat to Art Deco Sunrays in the new decoration for the carriage of Reverso. I will forever prefer the circular graining, the perlage, uh, that to me really is a signature element of the Reverso design. Perhaps as essential as the Gadroons that frame the dial in this horizontal manner. This particular piece is listed on Chrono 24 by a professional dealer out of Japan, and it is at this fixed price of $8,498. We're jumping to the next price point, our next watch, which is not a terrifying leap, to be honest. We are looking at Parmigiano Fleurier Calpa XL, the jumbo version of Michel Parmigiani's barrel shaped case design. In addition to that barrel slash tonneau shape of the case, it also has a uh, Michel Parmigiani's prominent and signature horned lugs, which actually wrap around the wrist really well, which actually prove to be quite ergonomical. The dimensions of the case are rather substantial, 36 by 43 millimeters, so it's not all that far from what we were looking at here in the reverse of grant date, which has a size that even dwarfs the Kantai at 46.5 by 29.
the culpa is also around one millimeter thicker than the reverso we were looking at, at 13 millimeters rather than the reverso's 12. If the bracelet design is not necessarily quite exceptional, it is original and has, uh, at least in my, um, from my point of view, from my perspective, it gives the watch a very integrated look. I have seen these watches on a leather strap as well, which looks just fine. But this is a very distinctive look and might even make a stronger statement out of this watch. Once again, we have a stainless steel on the matching bracelets with a highly polished look, which is not too far away from the Reverso itself. An ivory dial with two sectors for the minutes that wrap around the power reserve indicator at 12 o'clock and the small seconds at 6 o'clock. There is a date window within that small second subsidiary dial at 6 o'clock. Hebdomadaire signature at the lower part of the dial. Full Parmigiani Fleurier signature above the hand stack. And the hands are skeletonized and alpha styled and blued. One of the things that I really like about this watch is the oversized single Prege numeral at 12 o'clock, which really complements the overall styling of the watch. And I have to say that Hebdomadaire's uh, movement is finished to a noticeably higher level than the reverso ground dates movement. Of course, hebdomadaire means uh, weekly, as in, for example, the cartoon magazine, Charlie Hebdo, uh, but Michel Parmigiani must be a Beatles fan. So he named this eight day power reserve watch, the hebdomadaire. Calpa Excel hebdomadaire by Parmigiani Fleurier with a beautifully finished and very handsome looking hand wound movement. on its matching stainless steel bracelets. It has a buy it now option at 11,769 in US dollars. But the professional dealer who listed this piece on Chrono 24 out of the UK is open to negotiation. So feel free to send in an offer that is better aligned with your budget. We're looking at the last watch that belongs to this group of wristwatches with hand wound movements and ample power reserve. This is a Patek Philippe Gondolo day date in 18 karat white gold with a blue dial. Dauphine hands, applied obus shaped indices. At 12 o'clock, you have a downward facing crescent 
that is the power reserve indicator. And at six o'clock, you have an oversized subsidiary dial, which is a pointer date that also contains within it the continuous running seconds as well as an aperture for the date indicator. The case design is very much inspired by the Art Deco movement, rectangular with stepped flanks. The case uh, is also curved and contoured and has a design also on the case back that helps it sit more ergonomically, more comfortably on the wrist. A sunburst finish at the center of the dial in blue. The minute track is in silver and for the sub dial for small seconds you also have a kind of radial guilloche finish which gives this relatively small dial quite a bit of, of depth matching white gold Patek Philippe tank buckle a lightly padded alligator strap with medium scales that plays beautifully with the color of the dial in this navy blue. A full set with all the product literature, the original certificate, as well as the presentation box. the two correctors right under the crown for the day and date and a stunning properly form shaped movement which was the case in all these three watches that have a claim to high horology the finishing is, of course, quite at another level when it comes to Parmigiano Fleurier and Patek Philippe. I think the oversized rubies that are set um, against uh, these polished countersinks mirror polish countersinks and the finger bridges that hold the gear train of the movements are a particular highlight. This is a stunning watch that I think actually offers a great value proposition for this caliber of a Patek Philippe wristwatch. The Patek Philippe Gondolo, day date with the eight day power reserve, white gold with a stunning two tone dial, predominantly in sunburst blue. The buy it now price is 29,700, but the professional dealer who listed this out of the United States actually accepts offers, so feel free to send yours in, Chrono24. These were the three options. I think my pick of the litter, my favorite, is actually the Patek Philippe Gondolo in this case. It may be the most expensive among them, but I think it is well worth the price tag, especially at this price point. We have also talked about the Parmigiani Fleurier, Calpa, Excel, Hebdomadaire, and Jeju Le Coutre, Reverso, Grand Date, 
all wristwatches with hand-wound calibers that claim an eight-day plus power reserve. If you have any questions about these particular listings, any watch-related questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to find me on Instagram at young.brando. Of course, you can also write to me directly here on Patreon. And you should feel free to send me an email at lordhellespont the fifth at gmail.com, lordhellespontv at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your consistent support. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.